Hi all, in this video, I'm going to discuss about Salesforce admin role and its responsibilities in Salesforce. Let's start. Uh, basically, Salesforce admin role is operational role, like uh, they should be having both business skills plus technology skills. Here, what I mean by business skills means uh, Salesforce admin should be able to understand the requirements clearly from the client side or we can say from the stakeholder and they should be able to clearly uh, get in touch with the tech team or the dev team, technology architects also, we can say they should be able to get in touch with them and get the best possible solution for the clients, right? So basically on a high level, Salesforce admin role uh, is a combination of a business plus technology skills. Now, uh, let's see in detail like what exactly the skills needed for a Salesforce administrator on Salesforce. The first skill required is communication. As I have already mentioned, Salesforce administrator first should be able to uh, properly communicate with the stakeholders to clearly understand the business requirements. Then he should be able to clearly communicate with the tech team or the technology architects as well to find the best possible solution for the business. Okay, mainly the communication here between the different teams is really important for the Salesforce administrator. Second skill required is problem solving and designer. So here mainly Salesforce administrator will be providing a solution for a business problem using declarative approach. Here, what I mean by declarative approach means Salesforce administrator will not be writing any code at the back end to solve any business problem. So he will be using declarative approach means uh, on the UI by using the drag and drop uh, by clicking on some buttons and all, he will be creating an application or do uh, doing some logic on the UI, uh, which eventually will provide the solution for the business problem, okay? So this drag and drop click point solution is called as the declarative approach. So it's called as a no code approach, which will be followed by the Salesforce administrator. So basically, uh, when a client or a stakeholders uh, come up with some uh, problem statement, then uh, Salesforce team, what they will do, they will be deciding whether for this particular problem, whether we should be following a declarative approach or a programming approach. So declarative, first they will think like if that particular solution can be solved with a declarative approach, then it will be done by the Salesforce admin team. If that cannot be solved with the declarative approach and it has to be done with the programmatic approach only by writing some code at the back end, then it will be done by the Salesforce dev team. You got it, right? Yeah. Uh, here, what I mean by designer, designer means like, yeah, so Salesforce admin, like he will be configuring the Salesforce platform to meet the business needs. Okay, so he should be clearly able to understand like how to configure, like uh, how to do the changes on the Salesforce UI, like different aspects of the Salesforce UI. Salesforce administrator should uh, clearly able to understand that then only he can uh, provide the best possible solution, right? The third skill required is the security management. So now the uh, customer data is with us. So how customer can uh, believe us like first of all, their data should be secure in the Salesforce uh, ecosystem, right? So it's the responsibility of the Salesforce administrator that the user or customer data is made secure and stored securely in the Salesforce system. Okay. Next, uh, next skill required is the data analysis. So uh, at the end, it's like uh, Salesforce admin should be providing the uh, data to the customer, right? In which form, either in the form of reporting or in the form of dashboards. So Salesforce administrator should be able to do proper reporting and proper dashboard so that by seeing the reporting and the dashboard data, the customer should be able to clearly understand their data and should be able to take proper decisions based on the data displayed on Salesforce. This is called as the data analysis skill required by Salesforce admin.
next automation yeah so uh, it's like the completely all the process cannot be done uh, manually by the salesforce admin right few things can be automated like for few things like uh, emails can be triggered automatically or alerts can be triggered automatically right so such processes business processes wherever automation is possible so salesforce administrator should be able to uh, perform the process automation to enhance the business solution okay so salesforce admin should finally be able to understand how to automate the process as well on salesforce platform the final skill required for the salesforce administrator is the project management so it's not like for any solution uh, we need to provide for the business we can take how much uh, amount of time or how much amount of budget we need it's not the thing right at the end it's like uh, within how much uh, or what i can say is like short period of time uh, we have provided the solution to the client and with a minimum bur- budget we were able to provide the solution so salesforce administrator should be able to understand this thing as well like uh, he should be able to provide the solution with the in a best possible way within short period of time and in minimum possible budget okay this is called as the project management skill okay so these are all those skills required for a salesforce administrator in real time now let's discuss about the responsibilities he will be having in real time projects okay what are all the responsibilities first thing is the user management so in real time salesforce uh, administrator will be managing the mainly user here means what he is responsible for providing the user access then later on if user is facing any issues with his access uh, uh, like user will be contacting salesforce admin team only so administrator should be able to resolve that issue within short period of time or so everything completely related to the user it will be managed by the admin team to provide the best possible user experience okay so the first responsibility is user management the second responsibility is data management so admin is also responsible to see whether proper data is displayed at proper place on the ui i mean uh, i mean the records objects uh, everything fields and all it should be displayed in a proper place on the salesforce platform for the user okay i'm and also duplicate should not be available right so duplicate data should not be available so completely the data management also comes under the salesforce admin only next thing is security yeah as already discussed user customer data is really important and it should be made secure by the salesforce admin only so proper uh, things or processes should be defined or configured on the salesforce platform by the admin team only to make the user data secure okay next thing is the analytics as already discussed yeah so finally admin uh, should be able to uh, do the proper reporting and a proper dashboard should be done which meets the business needs okay so that uh, by seeing the reporting and the dashboard only customer or the client stakeholders should be able to take proper decisions by seeing their data on the salesforce platform okay to enhance their business needs right so uh, finally these are all the roles and responsibilities needed for a salesforce administrator to work on a salesforce platform thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you found this video helpful